Phone calls and emails have been coming in by the dozen over the last few weeks, usually in the late evening and usually after dozens of moving lights have been spotted in the sky and the emails look a lot like these two. Kelly Davis asking, so what's going on high in the sky tonight? Meaning last night for over 20 minutes, the sky revealed a huge parade of planes high flying from southwest to northeast at high altitudes. What's this air parade all about? Lisa also noticed, she asked, why are there more than 30 planes flying northeast over Boise, all in a straight line, right around 10 p.m.? And I saw them too a couple of weeks ago. My kids and I counted about 30 of these lights moving in a straight line from the southwest on a slight angle to the northeast, and they were spaced out almost perfectly. So here's what we found out. They aren't planes, obviously, but satellites. Elon Musk and his SpaceX program have been launching dozens of these Starlink satellites since last spring. The last launch was just last month. We reached out to the Herit Center for Arts and Sciences. Those are the planetarium people at the College of Southern Idaho. While satellites in space are nothing new, they've been there since the 50s. Chris Anderson told us, you're noticing these Starlink satellites because, well, they're kind of low and there's kind of a lot of them. And what these are that makes them a little bit different is this is a way to try to give the world internet without having to rely on ground-based connections like cell towers. Is there a reason that we're, I mean, we're seeing them so easily, are they lower than they should be right now? Yeah, so the way that these are gonna work is they get launched up into low Earth orbit, and then over time, they gradually move them into a higher orbit. It's still considered low Earth, but it's higher than most satellites. Uh, and so while they're in that relatively low uh, so-called parking orbit, uh, they're brighter because they're physically closer to us. Uh, and then as they get moved to those higher orbits, they're still, they get somewhat dimmer. So eventually they're going to work their way high enough that they won't be so obvious in the sky. They'll be less obvious, but you're still going to be able to see them easily from a dark location. Yeah. And you think you may think there's a lot up there now. Just wait. There's supposed to be another launch next week, all part of the SpaceX's first phase to get 12,000 of these Starlink internet satellites in space. That's what Chris told us. And when they're done, if all goes according to plan, Chris says there will be 42,000 of them up there, 42,000. And then he said that's going to pose a problem for studying space with SpaceX satellites potentially photobombing any pictures astronomers will try to take from Earth.